if you're someone who is still undecided about which of the companions you want to romance when Dragon Age the Veil God drops in another three weeks, then this series of Dragon Age videos that I am making leading up to the release of the game might help you in finalizing your pick of a romance option. And I will start with he who owns my heart and holds my Larima's heart, Emmerich Volkarin. Before we get into it though, hey, hey, I don't know if you're aware of this, but we are exactly 26 days away from Dragon Age the Veil Guard. We are in Veil Guard month and I am so incredibly grateful and happy that I get to celebrate Samhain and Dragon Age the Veil Guard on the exact same day. And speaking of Samhain, it's a perfect segue to start with the first reason why you should consider a romance with Emmerich Volkarin. If you're someone who loves or is fascinated by the dead, by death or the concept of death, if you find spirits fascinating, if you're someone who is drawn in by ghost stories and stories of those who have crossed over to the other side, then I think it only makes sense that you consider a necromancer romance. There is something about the inevitability of us dying, of our time on earth being limited, that then drives us as humans to make the most of life, to embrace living in a way that I think is perfectly captured by the necromancer, someone who holds that power over life and death on whom lies the responsibility of caring for the dead. Being with a necromancer is choosing as a romantic interest, someone who is as invested in you living a full life, maximizing everything that there is to see and experience and enjoy in life as they are invested in caring for the dead. With Emmerich as a love interest, you are potentially given a chance to have a romance that makes you pause, makes you breathe, makes you take a moment and truly live the way only romancing a necromancer would. Secondly, if like me, you're someone who attempted to flirt hard with Samara, the hot as hell just a car that we get to meet in Mass Effect 2, and was sad that you didn't really get a chance to follow through with her romance, then might I point to Emmerich as a possible romance option to scratch that particular older love interest itch? And I know someone is about to comment that, well, if you don't romance anyone else and still express interest in Samara in the Citadel DLC, then you can spend the night with her. And although I do appreciate the tragedy of finding love and spending that one night with the milf of my dreams before I step into the hell that is priority earth, I still don't really consider it a romance per se. Samara is more focused on her duty as a justicar and in getting rid of her Adatyakshi daughter for her to really give us the time of day and have something truly blossom between her and Shepard. So yes, I have always been smarting at us not being allowed as players to pursue an older romance with her. And now we get that chance with Emmerich, which I think is a gift. Because there is something about these characters in the game older companions who are wise beyond our imaginations, who have seen and experienced the world in a way that our player character often hasn't, and who gets to really study their craft, perfect it, and own it to the point that they are basically masters of their field, that I find very attractive as a player. What can I say? 
It's probably my competence in kink rearing its head to yell into the void because personally, I find knowledge very sexy, especially one that is born out of years and years of knowing what you do, being good at it and finessing your skill at it. That finesse, very attractive. So if you're someone who wanted to romance Samara or even Vivienne to an extent, because I do consider Vivienne a somewhat older woman compared to the rest of the Dragon Age Inquisition companions we got. And no, Solas doesn't count. We're talking about the others with fairly normal lifespans here, not elven gods that own my heart. Hell, I would even toss Win in there. I know some people thought her nosy and all, but honestly, she was talented as hell. She was also a very calming presence, and I like that. I like that a lot. I wish we had been able to romance her, really. And if, like me, you like the idea of a character that is older, more mature, somewhat wizened, and always the one advising for cooler heads to prevail... Bonus point if you're playing a rook that most certainly does not have a cool head and would rather everyone hot-headedly rush into danger to fuck shit up, then Emmerich is a really good choice for you as he's able to bring balance to your relationship. Thirdly, if you're a soulless mancer like me and was drawn to our beloved Egg because of his spirit and his fascination and study of the fade, then Emmerich Volcarin might be the romance interest for you. Now, Emmerich, of course, is not an elven god like Solus is, but he too is someone who is drawn to the fade. The little information we've gotten of him from his way too brief appearance in Tevinter Nights shows us that he is someone who has spent the last 30 years studying the mysteries and intricacies of the fade. If you're someone who is drawn to scholarly characters with a fascination for the occult, then Emmerich is most certainly the romance interest for you. But not only has Emmerich spent decades studying the fade, he's also someone who takes seriously his responsibility to look after the dead, watch over their spirits, and also protect the world from any sort of malevolent spirit that might want to do them harm. So if, like me, you're someone who made sure to activate the elven artifacts every time we ran into them to help strengthen the fade and thus help those who live in those areas then you might be drawn to Emmerich as a romance option. If you're someone who was fascinated by the way in which Solas talked about spirits and how we interacted with them, if you're someone who loved Cole in his element as the spirit of compassion, hell, who chose to have him remain a spirit rather than turn him human, then Emmerich Volcarin might be the love interest for you in Dragon Age The Veil Guard. And I know that Corinne has mentioned this and the devs haven't hidden it at all. But if you're someone who is looking to romance an absolute gentleman, if you're someone who swoons when a partner pulls out a chair for you to sit on, if you feel giddy, are the consideration that goes into them pouring you a drink, taking note of when you're running out of supplies and topping you up without you needing to ask because they watch you and notice you and are so incredibly kind, then Emmerich Volkarin might be the romance option for you. Because yes, we have companions who will make us squeal, who will get us hot and bothered. And because this is going to be a whole our series of companion romances videos, I will get to those ones later. But Emmerich, if you want to be swept off your feet 
by an absolute gentleman who's lived long enough to know just how to bring the most sensual of pleasures to your character, then do consider Emric Volkarin. Fifth reason why you should romance Emric. If you're someone who loves and lives for positive affirmation, then Emric Volkarin is definitely the right choice for you. I don't know about you, but we're about to familiarize ourselves with a combat style that might take a little while getting used to. Add the fact that you're playing as Rook, a character who is on the verge of a world-ending event and has two blighted gods on their ass. That gets overwhelming. And considering that it is because of a mistake we made at the start of the story, yes, Solus is also partially responsible, but we also did physically push the pillars that let loose these gods. So we do have some blame to take on as a result of that. So considering that we start the story with our mistake hanging over our heads, I find it easy to role play that Rook is someone who feels a bit out of their depths as the events unfold and a bit overwhelmed like nothing is going right because these dratted gods keep escalating and making things worse. And so to have a partner with you on the field who encourages you when you get things right, when you successfully defeat a dark spawn or take down a pride demon, for example, and he tells you things like, good job, my dear, or well done, my dear. I think it's going to be great, especially for my very first playthrough. Yes, I need the positive affirmation that I am potentially getting things right that I am potentially doing well and doing good. And to hear that from a romance pick, definitely worth and deserving of the swoon. And finally, if you're a fan of characters who are patient at their core, who seek to teach in a way that they get whoever's learning from them to do so in a judgment-free zone, where they get to keep their agency and independence and are not just forced into becoming an extension of whoever is teaching them, then Emric Volkarin is the romance option for you. Is this a way for some people to walk through the trauma of having parental figures who saw them as only an extension of themselves used to fulfill their own desires instead of being seen as their own person? I think so. With the relationship that Emric has with Manfred, where he treats his caretaking parental role in Manfred's life as a responsibility that he takes seriously to help the white get full agency of himself and grow and evolve into the type of being he wants to be without him just being controlled or molded by Emmerich into being a version of himself who he wants to be as Manfred. And I personally think that that is a beautiful thing. So if you're someone who is attracted to that, to characters who treat others as their own unique selves and individuals, and who are not interested in changing them or turning them into something that they are not, then Emric Volkarin is definitely the romance option for you. So yes, I am one of those people who plans on riding Bone Daddy Emric into the sunset. Yes, I fully intend to build a late 20s rook to do just that. And yes, I do think the present fandom discourse of Emric Volkarin is too old for rook and the age gap is yuck makes zero sense and i don't give half a flying fuck because my rook doesn't know your ass and is all about her love life if you're so gung-ho about what pixelated adults do together in their pixelated bedroom sorry you 
Remember the number one fandom rule? Don't like, don't read, don't watch, don't interact. Simply walk away. It's not for you and that is fine. No need to be absolutely horrid to others because they happen to like it. Also, I know we joke and aha about it and maybe it's because my ass is in my mid-30s, but Emmerich Volkarin is not that old. He's 52. He's just three years older than Pedro Pascal. And I don't know about you, but I totally would with Pedro. If you're over here lying to yourself that you wouldn't, eh, whatever rocks your boat. But Emmerich is just three years older than Pedro Pascal, is three years younger than Jamie Foxx. Paul Rudd is two years older than him. Halle Berry is five years his senior and Angelina Jolie is just three years his junior. Yes, he has some grays, but hey, I started growing gray at 15. It's hereditary in my family. And if you just went all gray hair, Noria, seriously, I can't see anything. Yeah. It's because the strands are buried deep in this heap that is my hair. Because just in case you all couldn't tell, I have a lot of hair. But Emmerich isn't that old. Like, we make jokes and all. But unless he has a child in his early 20s and that child had their own child in their early 20s as well, he just, he won't really be a grandpa just yet. So please don't be gross or weird just because people are excited to romance Emmerich Volkarin. I'm sure you can tell from this video that it does have his appeal and it is a pretty good one. So tell me, Emmerich Nation, did I cover it all? Is there any bit that I missed with regards why Emmerich is such a compelling character to romance in Dragon Age the Vilgard? Do drop them in the comments. And if your comment is just to agree with me getting everything right, or maybe I mentioned something that you never actually considered and now it's making you even more stoked to romance him come the 31st, let me know in the comments as well. Like I said, I'm going to be doing this with all the companions. So let me know in the comments who you would want to see next. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, do not forget to hit the like button. If you think it was an absolute waste of your time hit the dislike button i'm okay with either quite honestly but please share this video if you think others need to see or hear what i have to say it does help my content reach a larger audience and thus helps my channel grow and is incredibly supportive of my content speaking of support a huge thank you to my patrons. You all have been incredibly influential in helping me keep the lights on. So thank you so much for all you do. If you want to support me and can afford it, because I know the economy has been horrid world over, the link to do so is in the description box. I make new videos three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Whilst you wait for new content from me, do check out my last Vilgard video where I talk about the type of friends I think the companions will be. Until next time, do remember, obsessing over the things you love, perfectly valid coping mechanism. <laughs>